Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the fourth video of the series of power of reporting of Tally Prime. So in this video, we will learn a couple of more techniques related to the report of Daybook. So we will see various techniques that we can apply in the Daybook such that it will help you to manage or analyze your data faster and in a better way. So let us go to Tally and explore the techniques related to Daybook. Daybook is one report where all the transactions that you pass for any given day will get listed. Let us now view the Daybook report. So when you select Daybook and click on Daybook, by default, Tally will always list the transactions related to the current date. If you see here, this company, the last date of voucher entry is 31st March. And as on 31st March, we are seeing the transactions that have been captured in Daybook. Now you can use the feature of date and period to filter out the information that you are looking for. For example, let us say that you want to see the transactions for a particular date. So let's say you want to see the transactions passed as on 1st of March. So all you have to do is on the right hand side button bar, you have this date. The keyboard shortcut is F2. Click on date. Now Tally will ask you which date you want to see. So all you have to do is just press 1 dash 3 enter. And now Tally will list out the transactions for the specified date. On 1st of March, these are the entries that we have past. Now, if you want to see for a particular period, let's say you want to see all the transactions for the month of January. So in that case, all you have to do is if you see here, there is a blue color arrow pointing to the left, which means that a related action button is hidden inside. So when you click on this blue button, you will get another button which says period F2 with single underline, which means you have to hold alt and press F2 to change the period. So click on period. Now Tally is going to ask you for the from and to date. Since we want to view the transactions related to the month of January, all you have to do is just press J, enter. Tally will know that you want to see for the month of January from 1st of January. Again, press J. Tally will know that you want to see as on the last date of the month of January. Enter, observe here. It says from 1st of January to 31st of January. And these are the transactions that we have passed for the month of January. So this way you can use the date feature and the period feature to navigate to any transactions of any period or any date that you want to view. Now in the period, it is not necessary that you have to always enter beginning of the month or the end of the calendar month. It is very, very flexible. You can enter any from date and you can enter any to date. Like for example, let us say I want to see from 15th of December, enter to say 10th of February. It's an odd date, not the calendar month date we are entering. So when you press enter, Tally will now list out the starting voucher from 15th of December till 10th of February. These are the transactions that we have passed and you are able to view. If you want to see the detail of any transaction, all you have to do is just select the transaction that you want to view and press enter, it will take you inside the voucher and the voucher says it is the alteration mode. So any information in the voucher, if you are altering and once you alter the information and save the voucher, all changes will be updated on a real time basis, which I mentioned in the last video. Another interesting thing that I want to show you in the day book is that let us change the date to the last date that is the 31st of March. So just press F2 and just type 31 3 and we saw these are the transactions for the month of March, which by default, when you go to day book, it will show you as on the last date. Now, if you observe, there is a pattern in which the vouchers will get listed in the day book. So you will see that contra, payment, receipt, journal, sales and 
purchase so this is the order in which the transaction will always get displayed in the day book because each voucher type tally internally has an indexing for the voucher type so based on the indexation value these vouchers will get listed now let us say that for some reason you want to see the transactions that you have entered in the sequence of your entry generally you will not enter first the contra then the payment then the receipt journal sales or purchase so let's say you would have entered first the sales entry or the payment entry in whichever order you would have entered for the day but when you come to day book to view the transactions that you have captured tally will not show in the sequence of your entry but it will always display in the sequence of the index value let's say you want to now view the day book listing of your vouchers in the sequence of entry that you have made so that it becomes easy for you to quickly check the transaction so there is a way in tally where you can rearrange the listing of the vouchers in the sequence of your entry so how do we do that remember your secret number 2 come to the right hand side button bar at the bottom you find this f12 configure which is the secret number 2 click on f12 configure and if you come down to the last option here we have something called sorting method so the sorting method always it will be default as per the index number now what you do click here and now you have various sorting method option that you can select from this so while looking into the table you know alphabet a to z alphabet z to a ascending order descending order and all the transactions if you want to get sequentially sorted by amount increasing for each voucher okay then currency decreasing currency increasing okay then you have sequence of entry we will come back to that then you also have based on the voucher numbers voucher number ascending descending then again you have voucher number sequence a to z ascending order and voucher number sequence descending order we want to now get the list of the transaction as per the sequence of your entry so come here click on sequence of entry and press enter so on 31st may the first transaction that was entered is payment then you have entered contra then again payment then we have entered journal purchase after that sequence of payment entry three receipt entry and sale entry so this is the way you have captured but if you see the default you will see that contra gets listed then all the payments are showing here but whereas when you saw in the sequence of entry it was rearranged so you had first payment and then contra and then payment and so on let us say you want to rearrange the sequence that means every time when you come to your day book let us say you want to first see all your purchase entry or all your sale entry and then the other voucher type so for that first we have to understand what is the index value so how do we look into the index value of a voucher type so for that we have to go to the voucher type click on go to and then we can go to alter master and then select voucher type you can select any voucher type like for example we saw that contra voucher is always getting listed on top of your day book transaction even though you would have entered the contra voucher as a last entry for the day let's select contra entry and here you are not able to see any position of the index or the index value we are not able to see so for you to view the index value again remember your secret number 2 f12 configure when you click on f12 configure the last option here and make sure that show more configuration is set to yes and the last option here is provide position index of voucher type by default this will be no click on this and when you press y and enter here you will see the position index of the report so the position index of the contra voucher is 10 so let us quickly see the payment position index then we will understand why uh, the contra always comes on top come back select payment voucher enter and the position index of payment voucher 
in the report is 20 so which means in the report or in the day book since the position index of contra is 10 it will be the first voucher type that will get reported and next will be the payment voucher so irrespective of the order in which you enter the contra or payment voucher by default tally will position all your contra entries for the day on top and then the payment voucher just below that so this way every voucher type has position index now just for your understanding look at the table that is displayed on the screen where you will see the position index of each voucher type so if you see the position index for contra is 10 for payment voucher it is 20 for receipt voucher it is 30 journal voucher it is 40 then credit note is 50 debit note is 60 sales is 70 and purchase is 80 this is the order in which by default you are listing of voucher will be displayed in the day book so we will change the position index of the sales voucher and once we change when we go to the day book by default we will see that the sales voucher is going to be listed first so for that we have to look into the table of the position index and then modify the position index and give the index of sale voucher a lower value so that it can go and sit on top so before that quickly you see this is the default reporting where we just now saw that contra payment receipt journal sales and purchase is coming we have not passed debit note credit note now what we want is that by default we want the sales voucher to get listed on top all sales vouchers irrespective of the sequence that you have entered so we go to voucher type alter select voucher type and then select sales and here the position index is 10 just come here and then say the position index is 8 because the contra is 10 so reduce the value enter and press ctrl a once you have modified the position index just come out of the daybook report because it has to now refresh so click on daybook again and you will notice that we had changed the position index of sales as 8 and the contra was 10 so we are now seeing in that order so this way you can decide what should be the sequence of your voucher listing whenever you go to the daybook by default now in the next session we will see more techniques related to daybook because this is the place where you can catch all your entries in one single screen i hope these simple techniques that we learned in the daybook will immensely help you in analyzing accessing and interpreting the data such that you can make informed decision and see that how these information can take your business to the next level. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.